Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about a flame sensor. Uh, the flame sensor is pretty darn simple. Um, even though it has four pins on the back of it, you really don't have to use all of those. It just basically has an analog out and a, a digital out, I believe, in this case. Um, and the difference between the analog out and the digital out is does it give you a continuous stream of information or does it just say fire or no fire? And that's the difference between the digital and the analog. The intensity of the fire or whether there's fire or whether there's not. Those are the two differentiations there. Uh, the sensor itself is very simple. Uh, this little bulb on the top is basically just an IR receiver. Uh, very similar to the IR transmitter receiver chips that you see before. And what this is looking for is the infrared radiation coming off of a flame, and therefore a flame sensor. It's a little bit susceptible to other environmental factors, like there are many things that give out IR signals in the world, including even humans. IR radiation is basically just heat. So you can calibrate this to pick up all kinds of different heat signatures, though fire is intense enough that it works very well for that. Uh, with, with it, you do have to trim the data that comes out of it a lot because it's a, a very narrow range where it's going from no fire to fire. So generally, we do recommend you use this as a digital, um, digital signal, a digital output there. That potentiometer, this blue box right here is a potentiometer. What that is for is varying the range. So do you detect a flame right here? by switching that potentiometer, or can you detect a flame out here and change the distance a little bit more? Sorry, that's a terrible flame, but you get the idea. Basically, that potentiometer changes the range at which you detect flame. And again, this case, this one with the four pins is able to send out both an analog and a digital signal, but I recommend that you always use it as a digital uh, sensor because the analog signal is so small and refined, it's tiny that you can't really get much information from it.